Today, we're opening the new Yu-Gi-Oh! set that it has Exodia on the cover, The Infinite Forbidden. What is up? We are back with another. This is going to be so fun. This set is awesome looking we have the infinite forbidden brand new Yu-Gi-Oh set which is releasing at your local stores the day you're seeing this video which speaking of local stores this is from my local store frontline games so go check them out if you guys are local to my area clarksville nashville whatever somewhere in tennessee you can probably get there they are pretty epic they let me open some packs for them and this first opening will be for my store so we're gonna see like get a good look at what's inside i'm super excited i had not i mean i had seen the cover but I hadn't seen it in person. This is insane. I was gonna get like a few cases. And then when I saw the cover of this with Exodia on it, I was like, you know what? I need I need two more. So I added two more cases to my orders because like this is gonna be such a sick set. I mean, Exodia on the cover of a box. How do you beat that? This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an auction platform that I stream on live, opening new sets and old sets pretty much every other week. So if you have not been there, you can come into the stream. You can watch me open something awesome. If you guys want to be there when I'm opening the brand new set, The Infinite Forbidden, make sure you check out the link down below. Get $15 free credit. And don't forget to bookmark the stream on my profile. So it's Ruxin34. Follow me, bookmark the stream, and then boom, you'll be ready for the 5 p.m. stream. That way you won't forget when we start because sometimes people come in late. They're like, oh, I missed it. But if you bookmark the stream, you won't be one of them. We will be searching for the new Millennium Shield QCR, Exodia QCR, Dark magician qcr there's a lot of amazing things inside i'm super excited to open it up if you want to grab some packs or win giveaways yourself make sure you don't miss the stream on thursday at 5 p.m central so enough yapping uh because this is for my store normally we would give away every card pull but we're not going to do that this time we're going to give away a sealed booster box this time because these will be going back to my store so whatever we pull will hopefully be awesome for them and we will be opening more of this later in the week as well as we go the next couple of days and then we're going to do a massive live stream because there is a millennium shield qcr near you guys know it's one of my favorite cards it's a retrain but it's still really really cool so we're going to be trying to pull that qcr there's also an exodia card there's a dark magician card there's a ridiculous amount of awesome qcrs in here so i'm going to be hunting for a lot of different cards okay let's not waste any more time if you are interested in any of this first of all frontline games you can go check them out second of all if you're ordering online and you want to go check out uh Sassiata, use my five percent discount code you guys can go grab some boxes or cases from him as well that is an affiliate link with me so you got a couple options if you want to go pick up infinite forbidden the affiliate link with satiato uh helped me get a couple a uh, couple more uh cases that i was hoping for thanks to you guys so appreciate you guys using that link on the re recent set so go check that out again if you would like to see more and if you want to see me open more packs it helps support when you guys do that all right let me get out the second box uh yeah this is going to be pretty epic don't forget to sub hit subscribe to the channel because 250k we're going to be opening every pack ever made and infinite forbidden will be included in that because that's part of whatever every pack ever made i cannot speak right now sometimes i get ahead of myself and start talking too fast but you know what that's just how it goes all right let's mix these things up let's try to get a qcr today there are not very many sets left with QCRs, but about a half a year left, according to Konami, if that uh, Bonanza set actually is the last QCR set. Maybe every card in Yu-Gi-Oh! will be a QCR by then. Probably not, but very similar. Uh, what I, You know what would be cool is if they do a full Exodia set and that nostalgia slot in Bonanza. That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, first opening for the Infinite Forbidden, for, well, for me, of the Infinite Forbidden. That is such a sweet looking bag. Okay, let's get some good stuff. I'm excited for this opening. This is one I'm probably the most excited for this set, like core set wise, as I have been in a very long time, because I guess Age of Overlord was exciting, but not as much nostalgia in there. So it was a great set, but not as much nostalgia. This is really exciting. I mean, rarity is a side set, so that doesn't count. Those were obviously really big, but golem that guards the Millennium Treasures. I'm going to try to look at these. Oh, wait, I skipped this one. Fiend Reflection of the Millennium. That's a Fiend Reflection. What is he called? Fiend Reflection number two or something? The original? That's crazy. The golem gets a retrain. Service Puppet Play and a Memento Clan Creation King. All right, super rare. There are a ton of old school, like common and rare vanilla cards that are retrained in this. So we got to keep an eye out for all of them. There's a lot of nostalgia in here. It's very cool. Guardian of the Voiceless Voice, uh, Blazing Bombardment Beast, Mansion of the Dreadful Draws, Valmanica, DPH, we have Arukia of the White Forest, Gimmick Puppets, Emblem, and Tales of the White Forest, our first non-guaranteed card. That is an ultra rare. We'll take it. Beautiful looking card, ultra rare. Tales of the White Forest, very cool. Okay, 
Not bad at all. That's a good start. We'll take it. Let's see if we... Why am I... Why am I doing a... I'm doing a pack trick. We don't usually do that at the beginning. We have... Oh, the Mimigul dungeon. I think Mimigul is a new archetype in here, so that's pretty cool. Wait. Oh, I'm skipping through. We need Aerial Eater. Let's let's not get carried away. Aerial Eater is a fusion. Two fiend monsters with the same attribute. Interesting. So two ultras already. Good start. Three... Oh, Jamas are in here. Oh, Jama trap card. Ojama green, black, and yellow. That is amazing. They are making their return to Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, this is this set is this set is sick so far. We haven't even pulled any of the big cards, but I mean these are these are pretty sweet. We have uh the Betten Bat. What is that? That is insane. The Ragnarika, Celine Snapper, Maiden of the Millennium Moon. So the Majestus Moon Maiden. No, not Majestus. The uh the, the Maiden of the Moonlight, I think. TP2. I think that's what this is. Uh very cool. Mimigul Archfiend Super. Cosmic Tree and Night Arm Dragon. The Armored Night Dragon, yes! Night Arm Dragon, the Armored Night Dragon is in here. One of the greatest names ever made. Night Arm Dragon, the Armored Night Dragon. That is an Armored Knight wearing dragons or riding a dragon while armored and is also a knight. What a name, what a name. That is a great card. For some reason, I think that's a QCR too. Did they make a common, a QCR? That'd be kind of sick actually. Maybe maybe I scrolled too far when I was looking at the potential QC or the confirmed QCRs. That'd be awesome though. Cosmo Queen, the Queen of Prayers. Wait, Cosmo Queen's a common? Is the Millennium Shield a common? Oh, Paralyzing Mushroom? We're about to find out. Is What is the Millennium Shield besides QCR? Cause I know it's a QCR. Maybe they did make some of them commons that's 10 i don't know i don't know what that is but that's 10. you saw my card effect is activated except that's 10. you can access one you can place one access counter on this card max 10. monsters you control gain 100 attack for each access counter if the 10th access counter is placed on this card you can return this card to the hand if you do set from your deck one continuous trap and the effect of the special summon okay interesting i'm sure somebody will find a use for it dragon's light and darkness with light and darkness dragon on it dude there is so much nostalgia in here i better hurry up it's gonna be a longer new video because i'm just loving all these cards I'm really excited. Oh, we got a spoiler. It's a secret rare. Don't ruin it. Madolce dessert. Okay, we have Fiend Smith and LZ LZ of the White Forest. So White Forest seems like it's a new thing because I don't remember it. And there's a lot of White Forest cards. Moon the Clones Heaven, Gimmick Puppet, and Sylvie. We're, I'm trying to find that Millennium Shield. Is it an Ultra a Super? It could be a Common. It seems like maybe. So I'm just gonna keep going and see if we can find it. Fiend Smith. We got Gimmick Puppet, Air Leader, Since your eye on. Centurion Broomy. Oh my goodness, we found one of my top my, my new favorite commons. Broomy. He should be in like Toy Story or something. He's like Forky. That's insane. That is oh Dora Dora with the little pokey guy on it, whatever his name is. Isn't his name just Pokey or something? I can't remember. All right, woes. We have Dipsy. We have Fiend Smith, Service Puppet. Beware of the White Forest. I will be aware. Light in Sublimation Dragon. Oh my gosh, that looks sweet. That's 10. Oh my gosh. I should have only opened one box with how slow this is going to be. There's so many cool cards so far. Oh, Ruxin Special right to the Singingen. The Ultra or the uh, the Retrain for Singingen, the old school card. Wakes from a millennium. He looks like he has been asleep for a while because he has not trimmed his hair at all. He's looking a little uh, trolly here. Very, very cool. Ultra rare. Three and one. And Medulce. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So many cool cards so far. We have Maiden. We have Ragnarika. We have Fiendsmith. Desiree. Knight Arm Dragon. The Armored Knight Dragon has returned. The Armored Knight of Knight Arm. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have Woes. We have Dipsy. We have Service Puppet and Exod. Fires of Rage. Very cool. Very, very cool. Looking good. There's some nice stuff in here. Can we pull something awesome? Paralyzing Mushroom Cosmo Queen. <sighs> The Perulia, that looks like a like a little Pokemon or something. I, I don't know what that thing looks like. All right. Secret Rare, Zapper Shrimp, Blazing Bombardment, Dark End Evaporation Dragon. They made a Dark End Retrain? Okay, we got to read this. You can banish one level eight Dark Monster from your extra deck. Special summon this card from your hand. Okay, so you can banish Dark Arm Dragon or Dark End Dragon, sorry. Uh, from your extra deck to special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon for less this turn except dragon monsters. You can activate one of these effects. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, no graveyard. That would be pretty crazy. Target one other attack position monster on the field. Make this card lose exactly 500 attack defense if you destroy that monster. Oh, whoa, it destroys too. So the old effect of dark end dragon was to lose the 500, but here it has the same effect, but it destroys. So I guess it works as long as they don't have some sort of way to stop you, uh, 
draining the attack defense, or if they're like, uh, they can't be destroyed by card effects. So I guess maybe that would still lose the attack and defense, but not kill. Uh, very cool. You can only activate each effect once per turn. So that's pretty awesome. It doesn't seem like a crazy good card, but it is really easy to get on the field. You just, I mean, you always have the card in your extra deck unless they like somehow, I think there are cards that will get rid of cards from your extra deck. So that could happen in that. Or if you've already done it, you're not playing multiple dark ends probably. Uh, we have, uh, Gimmick Puppets, very cool. Madolce Mini Meowcaroons and Necro Equips. I did like a weird uh, two from the back right there. I'm not sure why I did that. So far, this set is really awesome. Uh, the Bet and Bat, Rusia, Madolce Dessert, Lacrima, and Mimical Maker, Moon of the Closed Heaven. Gimmick Puppet, Little Soldiers. Oh, that is scary. That reminds me of Goosebumps right there. And Sylvie of the White Forest. All right. Probably haven't even gotten one through, through one box yet, so I gotta I gotta pick it up. We have Gimmick Puppet Golem that guards the fortress. Still no Millennium Shield. It's gonna make us wait, isn't it? It's gonna make us wait. There are so many nice guards in this set. So many nice guards. All right, let's see. Manolche Dessert, Fiendsmith, Aerial Eater. There's like so many. Normally I have like one card we're searching for in the stream and it's like, you know, me reaching for that one card. Problem is there's like seven cards like that that I want. So I don't even know what to do right now. This is tough. We have Gimmick Puppet, Bet and Bat, Made in the Millennium Moon. Seems like we've seen most of the commons so far. I'm guessing that oh, the Millennium Shield is not a common. Did they do that? Did you guys do that for me? I appreciate it. But I actually really don't care about the low rarity that much because there is a QCR and that's really all that matters. It would have been kind of cool if it was a common and a QCR, but either way, it's going to be pretty nice. Fiend Smith, Desiree. I mean, I'm feeling happy about the Millennium Shield retrain. That is all I got to say. That is all I got to say. We have de depressed part. Oh, this is sad. Poor guy is depressed. I don't like that. We have Bet and Bat and Mimigul Dragon. Okay, the Mimigul seem like they're kind of cool. The artworks, I like them at least. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give us something big. Give us something big. In the first video, we have the Ragnarok of Wicked Butterfly. Okay, that's 10. Drytron, new two. Oh! Knight Arm Dragon, the Armor Knight Dragon. That's going to be have to be something in this stream. It's like there's there needs to just be like a, a copy pasta every time that gets pulled. We have a uh, Mimit's Land, Woes, Mimigul Room. Moon of the Closed Heaven. And yeah, it seems like we've seen all the commons so far. Well, at least a lot of them. Supers, I'm sure we haven't seen some. There's no way we have. Paul Manica Concord, speaking up, there's one we haven't seen. Dora Dora. Dora 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 the Explorer. Dora, will we pull Millennium Shield right now? Grab your backpack, jump in. Let's go, Exodia. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Too much Dora, but Dora Dora, that's going to be hard not to sing that. We have a uh, spell card, soul exchange, spell card, soul exchange, spell card, soul exchange. It's like soul exchange is a spell card. And then you just were like, how about we put spell card <laughs> quotations, soul exchange. I got to read this. I got to figure out what this is. Nine arm dragon, the armor night dragon. Let's go. Immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon one monster, and you can tribute monsters your opponent controls, even though you do not control them. So it's clarifying. That's what Soul Exchange does, the original one. But it cannot be tributed this turn. Wait, what? Cannot be tributed this turn. If this card is set for field of the graveyard, your opponent can apply this card's preceding effect. Only activate once. Okay. Tribute summon one monster, and you can tribute. So we would activate this. You would pick your opponent's monster, but it doesn't get tributed this turn. If it's sent from Field of the Graveyard, your opponent can apply this preceding card's effect. So they have the option to not. I'm going to need somebody in the comments to explain to me what that card is used for. I'm sure there's something. I mean, obviously, it's a new card. Uh, explain to me why that's good, because I'm sure there's a reason, or at least maybe it's not good. But explain to me why it's usable, I guess. Uh, Sinister Soul of the White Force is an ultra rare. That's definitely a new, uh, so what is the third? Usually there's three new archetypes. Vesper, maybe? Is Vesper an archetype? So it's White Forest. It's, uh, now I'm forgetting the other one. What was the other one? Uh, the, the, the Mimi, Mimi, Mimi Golem or Mimi Ghoul or whatever they're called. Okay. Oh, what is this? Is this some sort of arcane archetype? Or Arcana cards? I don't know how to say this card, but the trick card, okay. That seems cool. I'm not gonna read it because we've read a lot of cards today and that we might be here forever. There's a lot of cards I'm interested in reading today. This is getting a little weird, guys. It's getting a little weird. We have Fiend Reflection, uh, Fiend Smith, Golem, Service Puppet, Mimi Golem Cerberus, okay. We have the uh, Kokobos, Hina Matus Matsuri, Matsuri, Vesper Girsu, and Trap Gather. So Vesper, maybe? I feel like I haven't seen any Vesper cards, though, besides a couple. They might have even been the same card, to be honest. I'm not totally sure. Paralyzing Mushroom. We have Cosmo Queen, Mimit's Land, Interventional, and the Magic Lionel Soul, Zapper Shrimp, and Dark End, the Evaporating Dragon. We have Ragnarika, Gimmick Puppet, Golem, 
the heretical Phobos Co Covos, not Convos. Not the convos. Okay. Definitely going to be a little bit longer than our normally uh, new openings. So hopefully you've enjoyed just going through the cards a little bit more in depth. I definitely have. It's been fun really looking closely at these because I like a lot of these cards. I think they look really cool. Nothing Exodia related, though, which is a little bit sad. Oh! I'm getting a little excited. One, two, three, four. Guys, we have a quarter century secret rare right here. These are one in four boxes, so we got, I mean, we only had half those boxes, so we got lucky. Let's see, we have that's 10. Let's pull something crazy. Drytron is in here. Trap Gatherer. The Night Arm Dragon, the Armored Night Dragon. Fiend Smith Sequence. Fiend Reflection of the Millennium. <sighs> uh oh, uh oh, little, little Ruxus Special. I didn't do it though. Okay, we saw it's an effect monster. That could be the Millennium Shield. Okay, are we gonna pull in our first try? That'd be insane, let's see. Oh, the Mokarmi Perulia. Okay, we pulled this guy earlier, the little Pokemon guy. All right, so we did not pull the Millennium Shield right off the bat, but we did pull a QCR. Insane start. This has been such a good opening, I feel like. I mean, I don't know in terms of value or anything, but there's just so many cards I like in here. We got a QC. Oh, and there it is, the Dark Magician, the Magician of Black Magic. The Dark Magician, the ma if it said the Dark Magician, the Magician of dark magic that would have been really funny that would have been like the uh the dragon guy the armor knight dragon this would be so funny dark magician the magician of dark magic you had a chance you had a chance to be completely redundant it would have been epic <laughs> okay that is uh that's a cool card this comes in qcr as well this is one that i really want to pull as well as the millennium shield so that is insane okay we've got some awesome cards in this set this is gonna be such a fun set so yeah if you want to grab it guys I, I, I don't know how good the meta cards are in here or anything, but I just know that if you like nostalgia, this is a really fun set. So make sure you check out that link with Sassiato. Make sure to shout out Frontline Games in the comments as well for letting me open uh, a little bit of their product, which is pretty exciting. So uh, go check out Sassiato, get 5% off using my discount code, probably like Forbidden Rocks or something like that. Whatever it is in the description, 5% off cases and boxes. It will support the channel. Plus, you are getting a pretty amazing set. I, I love when there's great sets, so I can just be like really pumped about promoting selling them. Because like if they're bad sets, I just usually I'm like, I guess if you want to grab some, you can use my affiliate link. But when there's awesome sets like this, at least for nostalgia purposes, I mean, if this is a meta tech, uh, it has meta cards. I think the um, what are they called? The uh, ugh, I can't remember the name. The Pedra, the Tempai Dragon. Yeah, Tempai Dragon Pedra was the super. The Tempai Dragon stuff there is a few of those in here and those are pretty good so that that will help with the meta side as well so there's a lot going on for this set and it's really exciting and i like when there's a lot going on for a set it's fun to open it's good to promote all that different stuff fiendsmith requiem fiendsmith they're they're new right have we not seen many fiendsmith cards maybe it's a higher rarity archetype that is a really sweet looking card though secret rare fiendsmith okay we'll take that i feel like we've maybe pulled four secrets by now here we go bless us with something crazy we have the deep the dipsy not deep sea a spell card monster reward. what is up with these spell cards target one monster neither graveyard special summon to your field but for the rest of the turn it cannot attack and neither player can activate its effects so is it bad monster reborn wait a second is monster reborn still banned i honestly thought it was on if it's unbanned why would you use that that's a oh it's a quick play this is a quick play oh that might matter okay i wonder if that other one's a quick play that i was confused about earlier i don't even remember what card it was there's another drytron card that's probably relevant to the drytron deck hadn't been good in a couple years but that's still new addition to the drytron maybe it'll make it good we'll see we have gimmick pocket puppet we have light and darkness dragon lord oh my gosh 3400 attack one level eight light one level eight dark dude this set is so good it's so awesome look at that artwork that better have a qcr oh my gosh i might need to just pull every qcr in this set at this rate oh my gosh i do we need to complete this set like this is i might have to get more cases if we're gonna do that oh my gosh we have a uh, middle queen whoa this set has so many uh, that's got to be a qcr right it has so many awesome cards Okay, Medolce Dessert, we have uh, Obliterate Blaze. Wow, this is cool. There are some really good cards in this set. This is insane. Problem is this week, I'm going to be doing the stream at the same time as Nationals, probably. So it's going to be, I don't know. It's going to be, I feel like a lot of people will be busy during it. So doing a huge stream like that, it's like, ah. I don't know. Maybe I should wait till Sunday. I really don't know. I haven't decided. 
Another secret? How many secrets have we gotten? Diabelle, that's a huge one. Diabelle, Queen of the White Forest. Oh, this is a White Forest card. So this is like Diabelles and stuff like that. There's multiple options of it, right? Diabelle Star, Diabelles. Now we have Diabelle. Diabelle Star. Did it start with that? And his name's just getting shorter. Next time it's just going to be Dia Diab. Then it'll be Dia. Then it'll just be D. <laughs> or D. D-I. All right, that's crazy. I feel like we pulled like five secrets. I need to check this. It's been a pretty good, oh, pretty good is, uh, is an understatement. I think we can say that. Necro quit princess. By the way, no Millennium Shield yet, though. All right, two packs left. It's been really fun so far. If you have enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this set, make sure you subscribe. We'll be opening more of it very, very soon. Don't forget to check out the affiliate link with Sassy Auto down below. Get 5% off your cases or boxes. If you want to buy some of this set as well. And shout out to Frontline Games. If you guys are local to Clarksville, Nashville, Tennessee area, they will be in range for you, so go check them out. They have been clutch, and they, we have a good relationship, so it's really cool. So last pack, here we go, Centurion. Got a little excited and went through that too quick, but I mean, we got four secrets, and we got a QCR. I checked. It was four secrets, not five, but pretty amazing opening. We will be opening more of this in the future. Let me know when you want to see the live stream. I'm planning on Saturday, but because Nationals, it's kind of a weird choice, so maybe it'll be Friday. Maybe it'll be Sunday. We'll have to find out. Uh, make sure you let me know in the comments what you want to see, and I'll try to plan around that. Shout out to Tone Fo Show and Nesto DN at Mary America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Jr. Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.